In this video, we will be talking about the non-homologous end joining of two-ended double-stranded brick. Now, let us see first. Now, as a result of some kind of chemical or physical uh, sharing damage, the DNA, both of the strands of uh, DNA is cleaved and damaged. And then we utilize the enzyme called Q70 or 80. It will bring on itself and just bring itself onto the DNA strands. And then other type of protein will come in, which are called DNA PKCs. And DNA PKs are the protein kinases. Now they will phosphorylate this DNA Q proteins. And as a result of this phosphorylation, uh, those protein, uh, those KU proteins are getting, uh, ha have, or, or they are getting a stronger affinity towards the DNA. And what they produce is a very, very tight complex with this DNA now this very tight protein DNA complex will stay at this site and it will help uh, this DNA ligase 4 enzymes to come which are called the XRCC4 or XLF to come and hold those strands together and can reseal the nick uh, of uh, one phosphate and a hydroxyl group and fill the nick of this DNA and as a result of this uh, the DNA strand nick is resealed. Now we have seen in this picture that this KU protein complex is actually building the platform for this D DNA ligases to come and ligase these DNA strands. Okay, and that's how. Uh, and right after the uh, reannealing, all those uh, protein parts will be dissociated from this DNA and the DNA restored back to its original conformation.